Word cloud charts are a recently added new visualization type to QuickSight. They're particularly useful when analyzing types of data like around social media. Uh, for instance, if you're looking for the most popular authors or mentions within a tweet or hashtags, things, things along these lines. But more generally, if you're looking for uh, to show the popularity amongst any kind of keywords or search terms or things like that. So in general, you, it accepts one dimension and one measure and it's going to size the values that are listed in that dimension by whatever metric that you choose. So let's take a look in QuickSight about how these are used and how they're built. So we're going to start a new analysis and choose one of my data sets here. And you'll see the new visualization type, our word cloud, down here in the visual types menu. So if we select it, it asks for a group by dimension and a field to size by. So we can start with something like customers and sales. So what this is indicating is the top customers by total revenue, essentially. There's a number of formatting options you can apply in here. So one is that you can allow words to be both horizontal and vertical. So you can see that some of these have changed to be vertically aligned. Emphasize the scale is turned on by default. If you turn it off, they essentially are all the same size. But if you choose this, it's going to be size based on the metric. Now, fluid layout. This is going to determine basically locking the aspect ratio of, of the visualization. So if I turn off fluid layout, the organization and the layout of where each word is placed will be exactly the same no matter how I resize this visualization. It's going to just going to kind of proportionally scale down. However, if you check the fluid layout, it's going to re-disperse and redistribute the values in here to fit whatever space that you give for it. You can force all the words to go lowercase. It's a, a common kind of aesthetic thing on, on that's popular in word clouds. You can also change the amount of padding between words. So default is small, which I recommend leaving it as so. But if you decide that you'd like to add some more padding, which is the space between all the individual words here, or reduce it, you do have that option. And you can also cut off the string, the amount of characters that are displayed in each word uh, using this value here. So if I wanted to limit it to say 10 characters, we'll see that it, it gives you kind of like a dot, dot, dot indicating that there's more text there, but just limits the size of how big each string can be. And then the last thing is you can configure how many you would like. So the default's at 100, but you can limit it and you can also increase it. Uh, last thing to point out is you can color words individually. So if I wanted to call out Amazon as, as uh, one that was important in here, or I'll just pick a couple of these. Like if there's something specifically that you're trying to tell the story of and call that out, you can manually change the colors of those values individually. So one last example. So using the Twitter connector available in QuickSight, um, I pulled some information using the search phrase of LeBron James. So uh, here we're looking at the most popular hashtags for the most recent, uh, I think 500,000 tweets that have LeBron James somewhere in there. And also the top mentions of within that tweet, what are the, uh, if they at or mention someone. And then the size is how many occurrences there were. So uh, as of the time of the recording of this video, LeBron has um, recently made a splash about his Taco Tuesdays uh, and trying to also copyright or excuse me, trademark that term, which you did unsuccessfully. Um, but essentially, we are pulling the hashtags out of the individual tweets here, as well as any mentions, 
and then looking at their relative popularity amongst the tweets in the data set. So a common use case for it, not the only one, but just giving you another idea of how these word clouds can be used.